Safi na the great time tuna connect hapa double updates mtazamaji wangu mimi naitwa Mr Double J kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa ni seme tu asante kwa wewe ambaye unaendelea kufuatilia double updates lakini pia kwa wewe ambaye tunakutana kwa mara ya kwanza mimi siku zote huwa nakaribisha wageni kwa hiyo cha kwanza karibu cha pili na kuomba jiunge na familia ni rahisi kabisa unachotakiwa kufanya ni kusubscribe tu alafu mwingine yatafuata kumbuka ukisubscribe huwa ninasema utakuwa umejipa nafasi poa nzuri kabisa ya kuendelea kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati lakini pia na tamani kujua unanifuatilia kutoka sehemu gani kwa hiyo hapa chini kwenye sehemu ya comments naomba kabisa bendera ya nchi yako automatic uh, nitakuwa najua ni nani ana represent sehemu gani au ni nani anafuatilia double updates akiwa sehemu gani sasa hapa nataka niwachekeshe kidogo <coughs> kwa wale hasla ambao wamekuwa wakilia kwa sasa hivi naweza kusema kwamba miezi kama saba hivi sita jamani tayari eh, kuna proofs kwamba mtaendelea kuhangaika zaidi na zaidi na wao kabisa kupitia midomo yao serikali ya William Samoe Ruto pamoja na hawa vijana wake wanasema kwamba nyinyi mtaendelea kuumia mpaka mtachoka yani shauri yenu it's simple shauri yenu sasa kuna issue hii ambayo imekuwa ikiendelea watu wamekuwa kwa kikomplain sana kwamba ah, kwa nini Ruto ambaye tulimwamini sisi kama hustlers akatuambia vizuri cheo kwanza ama mama mboga kwanza cheo kwanza ama mtu wa boda boda kwanza cheo kwanza ama mfanye biashara ndogo kwanza eh wote tukasikilizana watu wa biashara ndogo ndogo boda boda pamoja na mama mboga kwa nini imekuwa tofauti kwa nini ni viongozi kwanza alafu wananchi hata hatuna imani ya siku nyingine tutatabasamu tena au tutaenjoy ambayo tulielewana <laughs> you understand kwa nini viongozi wanapewa vio kwanza na sio sisi wananchi ambao tulielewana kwamba sisi ndio tutakuwa wa kwanza iti serikali ni yetu kama serikali ni yetu kwa sababu gani hamtaki kutupea mtawapea mta kabisa hawa viongozi wenu au ilikuwa njia moja wapo ya kutuconvince kutudanganya mkishachukua muendelee kuenjoy sisi tuangaike pause kidogo ndugu yangu hapa kuna mtu ambaye anaitwa Aaron Cheriot huu ni senator huu ni nani huu ni senator kutoka kule sijui ni nani ama ni wapi <coughs> sasa Aaron Cheriot ana wajibu hawa hustlers ambao wamekuwa kilia kwamba kwa nini sio wao wanapewa ni viongozi wa William Samoe Ruto ndo wanapewa wa Kalenjin wa Kikuyu wa Kalenjin wa Kikuyu sasa hapa Aaron Cheriot anajibu kwenu hustlers nataka msikilize kumekuwa na mjadala katika nchi hii nowadays it has become as if it is a crime for any Kalenjin to be appointed to a public institution mm, acha kutupima akili Aaron Cheriot sisi wajinga eh Hakuna mtu hata mmoja ambaye amesema wa Kalenjin hawatakiwi hawa kupata nafasi. Hakuna hata mmoja hivi. Hata mimi mwenyewe sijasema. I want everybody to know that Kalenjins are also Kenyans. We have not arrived from Rwanda or Tanzania so that when you are appointed to public offices it becomes news. We are equally stakeholders in this country. And the truth of the matter ni kwamba the last administration fired our people like sacks of maize. Ulikuwa unatumwa hapa asubuhi saa sita umefukuzwa. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo iko makosa gani when we equally get our share yet we are taxpayers like the rest of the country. <laughs> the fact that this is here what ya kulialia na kupiga kelele does not mean that we are satisfied. So me I want to tell so wa Kalenjin wa Kalenjin sasa hivi wakiongozwa na Aaron Cheriot and let me tell you one thing. Anachokizungumza hapa ndio kitu ambacho kipo kwenye akili ya William Samoe Ruto. We are not satisfied. Na maanisha hata hizo ambazo wamepewa hazitoshi. Alafu anavyo anavyozungumza Aaron Cheriot, you can tell. <laughs> you can tell. Yaani yani sasa ni kama tena wana complain, like ni kama bado hawajapata. You understand? I, I think watu ambao wanatakiwa kuzungumza hivi, labda wakisi, labda wajaluo kule, labda waluye kule kwa sababu hawajapewa nafasi kama wanavyopata wa Kalenjin pamoja na wakikuyu So unajua wakikuyu wanapata kwa sababu ya Yaga Shagwa, alafu wa Kalenji wanapata kwa sababu ya William Samuel Ruto. Sasa ndio unakuja kuambiwa si uongozi bora huo. Inchi nakaa hivi. Huku yani huku kuna 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 viongozi paka kumejaa, mpaka uwezi ukabalance. Iko hivi. 
badala ya kuwa hivi iko hivi sasa hivi kwa anavyozungumza Aaron Cheriot wewe mwenyewe you can tell that they are not even satisfied na in fact wanafanya hivi kwa sababu kipindi ambacho kimepita eti walikuwa wanafukuzwa ka walikuwa wanafukuzwa kazi kama wewe unasema wewe ni kiongozi mzuri umetumwa na Mungu kwa nini unataka kufanya maovu ambayo yalifanyika kipindi hicho cha nyuma ambacho mnasema kwamba mlikuwa mnahangaishwa kwa nini unafanya kufanya unataka kufanya hivyo so sisi tutajuaje nini ni wazuri wakati uzuri wenu hauonekani so mtahangaisha watu wengine alafu sisi tuone kama nyinyi watu wazuri okay mkitaka kutolewa mnaona pia sisi ni watu wabaya Yaani kuna vitu vingine ambavyo tunatakiwa kabisa kujiuliza maswali mengi sana mtazamaji wangu. President William Ruto that speaking as a leader from this region mm-hmm. kwamba pia sisi ni wa Kenya and so, we deserve our equal share of government. Wait. So huyu uh, anaambia anaambia gashagwa ama anaambia nani? So angalia unajua kale nje wamepata nafasi nyingi sana hapa. Unajua hivyo? Wa kale nje ndio wana nafasi nyingi kwenye serikali leo hii tunavyozungumza ukihesabu Tukianza kwenye polisi tuende sisi wapi sisi wapi hata IBC watakuwa So I'm like okay what's, what's wrong with this person ni nini anazungumzia nini Unaona kabisa hasla sikuiza wazungumzie na mtaendelea kulia uliwaambia uhuru aliwaambia mna au kusikiza Just like the rest of the country mm. wale ambao wanaleta fitina shaurieni mm. in any case ukiangalia sisi pia tupe make our contribution to this country mm-hmm. for Kenya to be known international mm-hmm. is because of the work of great athletes who come from this region reason... sasa kama tumeweka bendera ya Kenya juu mm-hmm. jameni kuna makosa gani sisi tukipewa kazi Aaron Cheruta ana reason kama mtoto mdogo shiko kuna mtoto mdogo ana reason ana reason kama mtoto mdogo sasa hiyo inatokea wapi so wanapewa nafasi kwa sababu Eliud Kipchoge alishinda nani Eh, alishinda kule marathon eh hiyo <laughs> ni reasoning aina gani ah sasa ni reasoning aina gani nataka nikwambie okay tuzungumzie basi wajaluo mimi naweza nikakutajia wasanii tano biggest artists in Kenya ambao wanafanya vizuri na ni wajaluo na hatujapewa nafasi kwa sababu wao wame represent musical Otile Brown kwani anatoka wapi si mjaluo kabisa Who is the most subscribed artist in Kenya sasa hivi tunavyozungumza? Sini Otile Brown ndo ana subscribers wengi. Who is the most watched musician in Kenya sasa hivi? Sini Otile Brown na sini Mjaluo. Who is the best rapper in Kenya? Who is the most subscribed rapper in Kenya? Sini Calligraph Jones Omolo, si anatoka nani? Anatoka Bondo, sini Mjaluo. Tumepewa nafasi kwa sababu wao ni wakubwa wame to represent kwa kitu fulani. Uli Paul ni wapi? Sini Mjaluo msanii mgani ambaye ana hit song ambayo ina watazamaji wengi si ni si ni si ni Will Paul si ni wajaluo sasa okay nyinyi mkirizo ni kwamba eti mnapewa nafasi kwa sababu mmekuwa mkirepresent Kenya mimi nakwambia hata waluya wame represent Kenya Victor Wanyama semechezea Tottenham hmm? mchezaji wa kwanza kabisa kupiga bao Champions League kule Europe ni nani Victor Wanyama si anatokea Luya Nation wamepewa nafasi kwa sababu Victor Wanyama wa represent. Acha ni kutupima akili bwana. Kuna watu wengi same nyingi tofauti wamefanya vitu vya ajabu. Congestina Chinga anatokea wapi? Nani ana record kama yake? Tumepewa nafasi kwa sababu ya, ya watu kama hao. Sasa Aaron Chuliot the reason why an, n, n, yani ana 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 ata reckless gini. Yani sijui yuko aje yu nani alafu mtu mzima tu. So ajaribu uh, kutuambia ni vizuri wakale nje kupewa nafasi wanavyopewa sasa hivi kwa sababu mtu wao ndo rais mimi nakwambia kitu ambacho mnakipanda mtakuja tu kuivuna siku moja lakini pia najiuliza kama Ruto tena atatamani kuomba kura sehemu zingine na i doubt i, I doubt na feel hii ndio itakuwa ni time yake ya mwisho i think hii ndio mara yake ya mwisho na kuwa rais i don't think kama kuna sehemu nyingine tena atakuwa Unless arudi huko achukue MP hizo ai fresh hizo zingine sawa. But na doubt sana na doubt sana kama siku moja atarudi mtaani aombe tena kura. Na naelewa. Lakini ni kweli uh, walichokizungumzia hapo uh, nyuma kwamba wanafanya biashara. You understand? Wanafanya biashara na nchi and uh, kwa wale ambao wali invest. Niliona mpaka yule Stankok uh, ule mlemavu eh sema kwamba hizo development za kila mtu lakini nafasi kwenye serikali ni za shareholders they, they, they talk the way you want 
the way they want, sorry. They talk the way they want and you can't do anything. I always go funny kitu chote. Understand? Uh lakini pia ni sema uh, ato kiangalia um, uh, wale CAS 50 mm? ambao wako pale e, tayari yani tu, kuna kuna dalili fulani tu ya <laughs> e, kuna dalili fulani ya William Samoruto kuwapa zawadi watu wa kwao yani ionekane kwamba ah, bana sisi bwana tuna feed kabisa tunapambana ili uh, watu kwetu ndio wapate wakai vizuri waishi maisha ma- ma- mazuri unaone maisha marefu that is unaona mtazamaji wangu so wao wacha wa enjoy na uh, wacha enjoy ni muda wao kabisa lakini swali ambalo nataka niwaulize ni kwamba mama mboga yuko wapi and anapitia uh, uh, maisha aina gani and uh, baada ya ku uh, kuadanganya eh, baada ya mama mboga kudanganywa na kujipa unaona eh, mpaka sasa hivi eh, maisha inakuwa uh, magumu zaidi saa inakwaje eh, eh, kina mama mboga nao mtawafanyaje eh, unaona eh? Uh, lakini pia uh, inaonyesha uh, trouble kubwa zaidi kama hao ndio viongozi ambao watakao wanatuongoza kwa sababu imagine 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 watu kama hao ndio watu ambao wanatuongoza sasa itakuwaje ah itakuwaje the next five years itakuwaje si watakao wamepora kama ni mali watakao wamepora kama ni kila kitu watakao wamechukua kwa sababu they wanaongea wanavyotaka wanafanya wanachotaka wana yani they do whatever wao wenyewe ndio wana feel kwamba ni zuri but na noma Wacha tuone watafikia wapi. Hustlers endeleeni kulia shauri yenu sisi hatuko watuma, nilidanganywa, mlipewa pesa, kula hiyo 5000 mpaka 5 years ishe shauri yako. Bye bye.